Can we just disclaimer? Dina. Dina. Just slop in some cashews. From a nap right here on the sofa. Have you got print on your face? There's no more. I'm gonna puke. No, no. There's no more pregnancy glow for Dina. Dina's tired all of a sudden because she announced her pregnancy and everyone's jigs the shit out of her, basically. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? Hi What's guys? up, guys? Normally, Sid takes the lead on the Sid and Dina videos, but he's a bit lost on this because it's a serious matter and clearly I've got more brains to kind of, you know, articulate our words. So, um, <laughs> now, um, all jokes aside now, this is probably one of our most requested videos in the last, what, 10 days or something? Basically, a lot of people have been asking, hey, Sindina, have you guys seen this punish a Muslim day thing, which is supposed to be on the 3rd of April? And of course we've seen it. We don't live um, under a rock. Uh, well, technically, we kind of do. We kind of um, do live under a rock. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, there's a letter that has been being posted around where is it being posted around? It's being posted around UK. To be honest with you, I, I thought it was just a UK thing, but... I think it's I think it's more than a UK thing now. It's being posted in numerous places <laughs> and from an anonymous... An anonymous... I told you he wasn't quite articulate. An anonymous <laughs> source. <laughs> Basically, nobody knows who, who's posting this thing. And just to give you a rundown, punish a Muslim day. And it is on the 3rd of April. Well, Leading to be honest to with you, a lot of you guys have asked us to record something just to kind of raise a bit of awareness or even just to warn people. Because the thing is, with things like this, you never really know if it's like a hoax or if it's just a joke and nothing's going to happen. But then you also never really know. Basically, you can't be too sure. Should we give people the details? This person who's been sending around their letters... Um, I don't know why you have picked a Tuesday for Punish a Muslim Day. You could have picked a better day. 3rd of April, Tuesday. Makes no sense to me. Might be a day this, that means something to you. God knows. Um, so it says, they have hurt you. They, they have made your loved ones suffer. They, they meaning us. <laughs> like Muslims. Meaning Muslims. <laughs> they have caused you pain and heartache. What are you going to do about it? Are you a sheep? Like the vast majority of the population, sheep follow orders and are easily led. They are allowing the white majority nations of Europe and North, North America to become overrun by those who, who would like nothing more than to do us harm and turn our democracies into Sharia-led police states. <laughs> Only... <laughs> Sorry. Only you can help turn this thing around. Only you have power. Do not be a sheep. By being a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> because, apparently, <laughs> there is a reward system. There will be rewards based on action taken. These are as follows. For 10 points... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I want 10 points. 10 imaginary <laughs> bullet points in my head. They haven't even got any, like, actual incentives. There's no so actual the incentive, incentives. So the incentives are points. And I don't know what you do with these points. I think, I think it is like, it would have been great if it was a ticket system and you had like a hub and people take it there and you get like a plush toy. <laughs> <laughs> Verbally abuse you, a Muslim, <clears throat> you get 10 points. Oi! <laughs> you curry muncher! <laughs> That's what they do. That's what, how they do it. You just got 10 points. Oh, thanks! <laughs> You know what I mean? All right, the Muslims can Muslim get on Muslim crime. You we mean? can get involved in on this, bro. They won't like that, Sid, because we will win. Uh, okay, sorry. Because we win everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to take all your schools. We're taking. We're over. taking your country. Because this is going to be a Sharia-led country, son. The Muslims are coming. In Ramagam. To take everything. Sooner or later, it's not going to be Cabris. It's going to be Al Cabris. <laughs> in front of everything watch 2020 there is 2020 there will be an owl before everything because we are taking over mate 
<laughs> We're just laughing at how ridiculous the, this thing is. The okay. point system is quite yeah. flawed. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Anyways, so back to the, the, the point system. Pull the headscarf off a Muslim woman. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the headscarf off a, a Muslim, Muslim woman. woman. <laughs> for 25 points. Throw acid in the face of a Muslim for 50 points. <clears throat> Beat up a Muslim for 100 points. Wait, so you... What? Yeah. So you get more points for beating someone up than throwing... You get acid. more points for beating up a Muslim than for throwing acid in the face of a Muslim. Sorry, but if you ask me, throwing acid in someone's face it should, is a serious crime. Yeah, that is like up there. That is like that's up there. Like, that's like up that's there. That's like up there, mate. So after beating up a Muslim for 100 points, you get 250 points for torturing a Muslim using electrocution, <clears throat> skinning, use of a rack. What's use of a rack? Metal rack. Um, these get these suddenly get really yeah really deep dark, don't they? Yeah. Butcher a Muslim for five hundred points. You can get five hundred points. Five hundred whole points where <laughs> you don't use them for anything. To, to any yeah. to any people who were thinking of participating in this, can I just remind everybody that five hundred points doesn't even get you a Freddo chocolate bar at the supermarket. Five hundred points doesn't get you anything, but a bit doesn't of gloat in your you belly, that. and then it straight to the that. prison, mate. Butcher a Muslim using gun, knife, vehicle, or otherwise. For a thousand points, burn or bomb a mosque. For two thousand five hundred points, nuke Mecca. What does nuke mean? For two thousand five hundred points, what nuke does nuke Mecca. mean? Blow it up. Whoever has written this is clearly twisted in the head, like to the max. That is, it's mad because people is people are already taking part. Two days ago, yes. some guy ran over a Muslim woman in Leicester, and was that it, part, part, in his head? Was that part of that? Well, it? it must have been. It's, it's leading up to it, and his his uh, point for running her over. What he said was, um, "Our country would be better without them." So that was his reason for running over this woman. God, basically, it, it, it's a bit like the Trump thing. It's, it's, like, they feel like they've got some kind of support system now. There are people out there, and like it's mob mentality. That's yeah. exactly what it is. So if you're, you're a bunch of sheep and you clearly don't have a brain cell to think for yourself and you're just like, well, wait, somebody's thinking just like me. So I've got the support. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. Mob mentality will get you into trouble, mate. Yeah, it doesn't, um, like, basically you're, you're a criminal. No, you are a criminal. If they, you're, think they, are, they think they're sorting things you know, out. If you've got this stuff in your head and you've not spread around this propaganda bull crap about us be all being terrorists and we're trying to take over the damn world and we need to be nuked and getting rid of and wiped off the face of the earth you are a terrorist you're calling us terrorists you are actually a terrorist because you're <coughs> inciting hate <coughs> and some psycho might go ahead and and act on that hate that you are inciting yeah it's so funny because the person who started this probably is not going to go ahead and do anything no, they'll just sit the back third. and watch they'll it all happen. They'll just sit back and watch it all happen. So, but um, it's the people who are sheep and who are ignorant and have don't know anything about Muslims or religion or anything. They just follow, j just to the sheep, basically. That will go ahead and do something. It's not being taken seriously mm. now. Which is mad because if it was a uh, punish uh, any other religion day or any other, let's say, race or any other minority of minority group of people if it was a punish at any other minority group of people day it would be taken so seriously sorry it probably is being taken seriously by the police because but the the fact is it's not being taken seriously by the media and the government uh, that's the issue yeah and just general public other than other than muslims themselves yeah. we're taking it seriously because obviously we're like well, well, 3rd of April is a Tuesday, mate. We've got to get... We, well, we're going to be out and about. We need to be doing this. So in our heads and in our family's home. heads, we're all literally... We're, like, all we're staying home. On the 3rd of April, we are all staying, staying home. home. Because we, I can't take that risk, I don't think. No, I can't take that risk either. And, like, none of us can we, take that risk. Like, especially with Hannah. There's just no like, chance none of, that risk. We can't take that risk. For for this stuff to be spread out, like, who who's to know we're walking down the street and some lunatic just stabs me in the bloody neck? Yeah, it literally just takes one lunatic or one person you won't know after it's happened like it literally yeah, there's, takes a, there's a lot second. of muslims as well on twitter and stuff you know giving it giving it the all or bring it on don't do that man don't be doing that don't do that if something 
you know, inshallah, nothing actually happens. If you're just brown, or not even brown, if, if you're, even if you're Jewish and you wear a headscarf yeah, and you, turban. Yeah, you gotta. You all just need to watch your you back. You gotta put your guard up, man. Yeah. Because they, on the 3rd of April, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to like spread fear or anything, but we have to be cautious on the 3rd of April. I think, yeah. What does it take for the media to, to take this mm. and actually spread it everywhere? Because not every Muslim is on, not every Muslim is on the internet. Not every person is on the internet. What what would what would it take for the media to to this didn't literally... even start on the internet if you think about it? Yeah, what would it take the for them to, to 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 raise awareness? What would it take? Not much. You do it with everything else. When when minorities are involved, right? You seem to brush it under the carpet. And you know what? This is totally off topic, but I'm just going to put it out there anyway. This is why I get. I now actually, or I more and more, I'm understanding why girls want to take off their hijab in the UK or in America or in these countries, basically. Because we are, whether we like it or not, almost like the face of Muslims. We are like the first target. We're the first most visibly Muslims, most visible Muslims to the haters. You know, if you're going out with your kids or... Whatever it is, even if you don't have kids, even if you just want to have a peaceful life, like, I get why some girls actually want to do that. And it's all good and, and people saying, oh, you're strong if you keep it on and blah, 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 and this and that. Yeah, great, you are strong. And that is really good. And it's really, you know, you deserve a medal for that. Alhamdulillah, I've been okay so far. But if so for some girls, they have been attacked and horrible things have happened to them because of the way they look and because of the hijab they're wearing. A woman that's clearly Muslim, Muslim is more at risk because... For them, let's hit them where it hurts. Exactly. It's, it's easier. It's easier for a person to just do that to a woman and it's more damaging oh, I get to you. do that to yeah, a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. They're easier it's, targets yeah, it's easier target. and it's, to them, it's like, let's hit, it, let's, hit, let's hit them where it hurts. What's mad, like, alhamdulillah, I've been, I haven't experienced anything horrible, like, enough to, you know, scare me and shit. But I don't know what I would be like if I did. Especially if I had Hannah with me. Or imagine if I had a newborn with me and that's happening. Or imagine while you're pregnant. That's happened to pregnant women. Hijabi pregnant women before. One, that one a few years ago that was beaten up and she lost her she baby. She lost her baby. The guy kicked her in the stomach. So, so many awful things. She was with her husband. She was with her husband. She was with her husband. She was. Wow. And they got, they got into a fight and stuff. No, I don't know what happened, but it was a, it was a racist attack, wasn't it? Obviously, and then he, the guy kicked her in the stomach and she lost her baby. Muslim women in hijab can't, they don't get the option to one day be invisible, whereas everybody else can. Like, if you just don't want to face the world, you can literally just, you know what I mean? You could, you could, like, okay, you not so much because you look very Asian and stuff. But I you, look very Muslim. <laughs> but, but, Sid, you actually don't look. Like but you can I can, get away I, with I can get away with it. I could put a I cap can, on. Yeah, I can, you should do be I, I could, like, I could get away with things, it. There's things, you know. But I, I, I like looking Muslim. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I don't like it or anything. I it's like not, it too, I do, no, but no. sometimes that think, shit, it can be scary and it's, it's scary. It's Especially scary. Especially when more and more nowadays, in the last, the whole of 2017, I don't think I felt it more than I felt it in 2017. In certain areas or certain places we'd go to, the, the looks and the stairs. The looks you get, man. And, oh my God, just today, Sid, when we were in the town centre. Yo, did you see those... Ooh, did you know, those old did, people. Those old people were looking at you like dead. I, Wait, and then I walked past them outside. and I was just like, yeah. And we I, went into yeah, they shop. were looking at you and I was just like... Oh my God, tell me about it. They were like, like... I walked past and they're literally like... I was just what like... What is this alien from outer space? And I was like... It's so rude to fucking stare like that. You just it's don't... Ju like, there's a, st there's a stare when people are smiling. We get a lot of smile stares from old people. Yeah, and that's just like... But, fine. like, that was not a smile stare. That was, that like, was like, a what the fuck is she doing here stare? <laughs> yeah, it was. It and was. I was just like... But I wasn't intimidated because they're really old. Wow. So I was like, why? yeah, whatever. Why? Why would you want to do that? Make someone feel weird like that? As much as me and Sid like to have a laugh and all that stuff, we will be watching our backs on the thing. Yeah, we, we've already said... We're staying in on that day. That's, that's, yo, we're not, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's just a day at home. So cancel Tuesday. That day is cancelled. That, that day, if, if you've got, if you've got a brain, that day is cancelled. Because you're under threat. You literally are. It's just like somebody calling up 
I don't know. Um, your counsel and saying, okay, on this day I'm going to do something. You know? And everyone just ignoring it. You know, do not ignore that day. I, I wouldn't ignore it. Inshallah, nothing happens and it was just all whatever. But why would we risk it? You um, don't want to risk it, man. Until it's, well, and, it's You know what? A lot late. of people are going to say, oh, that's what they want. They want us to be scared. They want us to... Well, yeah, they do. And I'm not scared. I'm just taking I'm not scared either. I just... I just... Uh, honestly, I just I, about I just to be don't want any. I don't I don't want some, some dude to throw acid in my face. System. Like what? Yeah, and yeah, I don't want to be a tally on nobody's flipping point system, mate. If you've got a if if you've got a brain, you will do that and try and keep out of it. Literally. Well, hopefully, nobody takes offense to any of our joking and stuff. But obviously, we were joking about taking over. Like, if you do not get that, you're probably not from this country and you don't understand British banter. But the sarcasm is real. We've already taken over our street. <laughs> our cars are parked uh, all up the road our neighbours watch our videos what our one do? car <laughs> <laughs> yo, our neighbours watch our videos bro what are you doing please protect us neighbours <laughs> yeah, if us anything the happens if there's some weirdos around the house neighbours you better have our backs our neighbours are really nice by the way and they're all Welsh they're all Welsh Well, yeah, I'm Welsh yeah Every, oh god I feel outnumbered <laughs> oh god get me away <laughs> yeah I mean look everyone knows what it is this just me and Sid with our kind of point of view and just telling you guys stay smart watch your back don't get involved don't also don't take the bait imagine if this was you when you're 16 yeah. and you're with your boys Yo, you're, they're trying you're to gonna provoke take you. the bait especially on the, the 3rd of April they are trying to provoke you to, to see if you'll take that step first, then they have an excuse to do something. Yeah, literally. Do not take Don't the bait. Don't take the bait, man. Guys, just, we need to have our wits about no. us. Seriously. I would literally just laugh in their faces and just walk away. I wouldn't even laugh, laugh in their face. I'd, li- whatever, I'd literally... Man. Just say whatever, man, and just walk away. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say anything. I would literally just... St- anything that could be potential... Anyone that looks a bit like, oh, he might fancy giving me a bit of trouble, just... Stay literally, away. Literally, just stay away. Stay away. On that day. Anyways, so we've said more than enough and um, stay safe, guys. Stay safe. So we will catch you guys on the next one, as usual. Remember, please stay smart, stay safe. All right. Bye. Bye.